and telling the voice director, I need a break. This is PG. <laughs> but that's my process. <laughs> he records alone. Oh, voice director McNulty. <laughs> Like uh, being the bad boy on Tom Raman. It's bad. <laughs> bad meaning good. Uh, no, it's awesome. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's an amazing show. And like, I don't know. Everybody always wants to play the bad guy, right? It's true. Yeah. Right? Not me. You get to be kind of sarcastic <laughs> and, and just vibe with things. And yeah. It's, it's it's amazing. Hey, wait, wait, Great wait character. a second. Yeah. You just said not you. Me? What's going on between du Gwen and Duncan these days anyway? What's um, the deal? Because you, you, you know what? I get a lot of fans. Everyone's like, yeah. Duncan what's and Courtney! Need Duncan and Gwen! Like, yeah. there's two camps. How what's you, not Courtney? going on between Duncan and Gwen yeah, right exactly. now? That's, that's really what there's that's to say about the, that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, if you followed us out to the parking lot, you might see a few things, but uh, you know, our bodyguards would definitely have a problem with that, and our squirrel over here will probably not off your leg, but um, so don't follow us out, that's all I'm saying. Uh, no, we, we definitely are uh, working things out, we're talking, yeah, so, we're talking, but we're talking. I'm also talking to Trent. Oh really? What about Cody? Just saying, I like to keep my options open. <laughs> a good guy, a bad guy. And you're going to hear it here first. Teletoon is going to be giving, doing a contest. So next week on the 27th, you, because see, it's already aired in the States. They've already had a winner. Australia went and aired it already. And so here in Canada, you are going to get a chance to vote who's going to win. And check this out. This is the best part. Who, in that contest... You get a chance to become a total drama character and you get to go to Toronto and sit in the booth, in a recording booth with me. They will animate you as a total drama character and you get to interview me and then it's going to be animated that, that whoever wins is going to be animated as a total drama character interviewing Chris McLean and they're going to air it. So that's pretty cool. So there's actually, so when we record total drama, at the end, we record two or three alternate endings because we don't know, and plus they don't want to let any actor know. <laughs> yeah, it's, so we don't want to spoil it. So uh, just letting you know that uh, that'll be happening here in Canada. So it could be three different people that win. Um, what's, I'm just going to open this up to anybody here. Uh, what is the best? Part about being a voice actor, and what is the worst part about being a voice actor? Anyone? I'd say the worst part is actually having a cold or losing your voice because you had to do a hairball cough or a massive vomit or some sort of weird library thing. Um, I think that's the biggest. Yeah, I think that's the worst thing about being a voice actor is that you're so uh, burdened by your. Uh, your health, like you're, you have to be healthy at all times, and um, it's really it can be tough, especially when you have a regular show going on, and it's it's very stressful when you think you might wake up with a bit of a sore throat. You're like, oh my god, <laughs> I've got a sore throat, and it's panic sets in, and a ginger tea comes out, and yeah, I would say that's the worst thing. That for me, anyway, I get nervous about that kind of stuff, and I already have like a gravelly voice, as most of you know. Um, so when I get sick, it just makes it worse. Hey Joey, what do you think about working? And I'll open up to you guys too. What's it like working with? What what are what are some of the obstacles that you <laughs> go sick? go through working with voice actors? Were you drinking all night last night, Christian? <laughs> Is that what happened? Why can't we record you today? What's wrong with your voice? And then we have to cancel the whole thing and start again. Wow. I'm going to move over to Joey So, who's a co-creator for Sidekick. You know what I have to say, though, is that I, when I notice you guys are sick, you guys are always champs and, like, really bring it still. And we can never tell. That's how you answer. You guys ever tell? That's how you answer. I told you not to ask me any questions. Okay, you pass me the mic. I got one more oh, bad one. It's true, though. We are absolute champions. We are. <laughs> when we have a cold or we're just not feeling well, we will still drag our butts into that booth 
and work a three hour week. You get three hours. From a guy's point of view, I don't know, I'm sure all the guys would agree with me, you don't have to shave. Yeah. You can just roll in with like a woodsman beard and, and drag yourself out of bed and go to the studio and do your work. It's technically you make fart noises all the time. Yeah. We have the option to wear pajamas to work, I think, which is a great yeah, plus. We actually do yeah. it. Yeah. I've never done it, but you know, it might happen one day. Yeah. Pajamas. <laughs> the gems are good but uh, Stephanie was just saying the worst probably the worst thing is when the show ends and the job ends that kind of sucks that, I think that's the worst that is that's the worst but uh, almost worse than that is being on a show like Total Drama <laughs> Island pick one stars. and always going to the last page to find out if you were voted off <laughs> you know a lot of the because that really sucks we would rewrite if somebody was coming in and they weren't doing <laughs> Honestly, it, okay. You Next show, you're, you're off. off. You are off. <laughs> okay, so what did I do to you then? It was you. What, what did I, I do to you also? Oh, it just got real. Everyone watch. <laughs> I was so nice to you the whole time. I gave you back rubs. Now I was doing the voice of Gwen. It's, uh, it's that Shark Week. That's so unwed. <laughs> Who's going to win? I think Stephanie wins. See? That's why I got voted off after five episodes. Got it. All right. Uh, Can I just get outed? Uh, it was awesome because I, I, for like 10 years, I did a lot of commercials. And I knew once I put on that yellow toothbrush <laughs> that this was my swan song to the commercial. Run. And it was a good way to end. Um, you know what? Uh... I would say it was a little bit embarrassing at times, but whatever, embarrassing all the way to the bank. <laughs> yeah, so it was a job. I did it. What's it like being on uh, Comedy Inc.? Uh, it was uh, it was fun. It was only it was only two weeks every year. We shot uh, thirteen episodes in ten days. You can't tell by the quality, uh, <laughs> but it was fun. What do you actually, how do you feel about the, you, the voices, you, the voices you voice, you know, we with uh, Jonesy's set, so, so, so gorgeous, about a slack and loses a job, you know, and Jude's uh, great, uh, pretty laid back and laid, laid, awesome. Yeah. Laid back, but has not laid back ideas, and uh, Jen's um, so bossiness and so, um, so uh, loud mouth is, you know, mouth is boss. <laughs> so, I, I think, I, I, for me, it wasn't a stretch. Uh, you know, they just said, you know, play him, play him like he's 16 and he's a little laid back. And so I just did it. So I felt very, it was easy for me because I just sound like Jude. So it was easy for me. How about you, Jen? Yeah, it was really easy for me too because I am kind of bossy and uh, mouthy and sporty. And uh, yeah, no, I loved it. I, I feel uh, just just when you said 16, I my heart swelled as I think all of us, our, all, all our hearts did, and and I cried a little inside too because we don't have the job anymore. Um, but we love, I love being Jen. I, I still feel like Jen every day, um, just 16 year old version of her. Um, and I don't think I was nearly that sort of cool and nerdy at the same time as I was when I was 16. Um, yeah, I loved it. It wasn't a big stretch for me too vocally. It was, uh, I, I mean, I got to really play a lot with my voice. Because um, Jean is very uh, um, emotional. Uh, but it was definitely one of the best jobs I've ever had. Uh, the best character I've had. My favorite character. Probably. Yeah, I'd say it was, uh, it was one of the most fun jobs I ever had. Because the first season they had us, uh, all six main characters record together so that everyone really got to learn each other's comedic timing. And, and that way, in second season, third season, fourth season, fifth season, when you read a script, you would know how to say your line because you knew exactly how Christian was going to say his line, yeah. leading you into it. Um, and a fun thing about 16 is uh, I was never, ever supposed to be Jonesy. Um, there was another guy hired. They fired him. And then they brought me in saying, hey, we were giving you the part. You were our second choice. And they played my audition tape and it wasn't me. <laughs> whoever whoever yep. was supposed to be that guy 
he just never got the job, and I was there. And they, and I kept trying to match the voice because I didn't want to get outed. I really wanted the job. And Christian kept saying, you can't do it. I don't think that's you. <laughs> and, uh, and the directors just, they, they found a voice they liked with me, and they just kept me. I think it's just because I was already in the room. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Tom McGillis, the creator of 16 and Total Drama, said, here, read this. And it was for Chris. And I was like, what, what's he about? He goes, uh, Ashton Kutcher, Jeff Probst. Yeah, so. so you did. I just talked louder. That's all I did. I just talked louder. And he, and he goes, and then Tom was like, I like what he's doing. It doesn't sound like Jude. I just wanna, I just wanna actually add to your question because I think when you, when you do like auditions and you get, you know, usually the casting has specific, they know your voice and they ask you to do specific roles. But what they have is they have a description of the character and the great thing is, is that we all get to kind of use this sort of framework that they lay out for you, but you can really be creative with what you bring to the table and then they be creative back and then you kind of, that's how it manifests into Owen or Lindsay or whoever it is. So you do kind of have a grasp of the character. Yeah, you don't want a Chris Farley. You want yeah. your original, you want your character to be original. Yeah. You know, but this is, we give you a point of reference. Yeah. So that's kind of the process of it. I think that maybe yeah. I felt like answering the question. <laughs> yeah. No, that was Instead good. Of talking about myself. <laughs> okay, I have a question for everybody, uh, all voice actors for Total Drama. I was wondering how you were up to the task of the added singing element in World Tour, <laughs> and what song was your favorite, or least favorite? Mm. Well, I didn't sing at all, so <laughs> no, you didn't. I, didn't. I never record with these guys either. I'm oh, always no. by myself. So let's. Uh, yeah, I it. thought the singing was pretty funny, and I had to sing poorly. Like you, it's it's interesting to sing in your character because yeah. you might be a really good singer naturally or a really bad singer naturally, and maybe your character is the opposite of what you really that. are. So that was really fun for me and. Um, I think my favorite was the, the Japanese one. The what was that episode called? It was like Coco Ping Pong oh, yeah, something yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy yeah. Land or something. Yeah. That was yeah. Yeah. I know that was yum 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 Coco something. It was hilarious. I thought that was my favorite one. So. Does Does anybody need the auto tune with that show, or is it all your voices? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I sang my own lines. I actually don't know if you guys were... Yeah, they all sang them, and uh, we were told pretty early on, uh, the writing team was told which characters could carry a tune and which characters couldn't, <laughs> and if we could somehow deal with that when they were singing. Hence the song stuck to a pole, which was sung entirely with her tongue oh, frozen yeah. to a pole. <laughs> <laughs> But Scott, you actually you play in a band, right? Great. Like you, you actually sing. How yeah, was it singing as Owen? Just not like Owen. Yeah, no, that, that's fun. Stephanie's right. It's like it's uh, it's a lot of fun to do it in character. I know that Brian and I were just saying that. Uh, do you remember the name of the tune? It's the one that we were. It's a boy band. It's a boy band song that we had to sing together. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the boy band. Because, uh, yeah, because Keith. Uh, Oliver and Chad Hicks. Yeah, they're the directors on the the last two seasons. Mark and I were the directors on the first two seasons. So we don't know you guys. You don't know any of these songs, right? Oh right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Got another? I've got other favorites, but thank you. Yeah, that's a good question. Brooke, who's your favorite total drama character? Just curious. Oh, I'm Chris McLean. Right on. That's a good answer. And my question is, did you guys expect? Total drama to be as big as it is? Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> Bigger. No. no, absolutely not. I mean, yeah, we, I we get a gig and we're lucky if it lasts a year. Yeah. You know, we go into second season, it's like right on. It's unheard of. But this uh it, this is the response, like especially that it was such a big hit in the States and one of the most favorite the popular characters on it had a big Canadian maple leaf yeah. on it, you know, and it was so blatantly Canadian yeah. up at Camp Wawanaqua, but it was a huge hit in the States and all around the world, and it just kind of took everyone by surprise. Okay, thank you. We're good.
We got, we, I got kind of a funny story actually. Scotty and I, uh, was it last winter? Yep. Our friends of ours rented a house in Jamaica. So uh, we were in Montego Bay and uh, we're staying at this beautiful palatial house. I don't know how they got it, but anyway. It was gorgeous. Uh, you know, really nice people serving us three meals a day and, and just wonderful people. Anyway, it's the kind of life you live as a voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> sweet game. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so so we're having breakfast, and and and, uh, and I don't exactly remember how it came up, but but we were we were talking about television and and the get total drama in Jamaica, believe it or not. And we didn't know that. But we didn't know that. So the woman that this this great woman who's cooking for us, we were talking. Her and I were talking, and and, and she's like. Uh, you know, I asked her what kind of television she watches. She's like, oh, I watch this show, you know, it's, uh, it's about these people on the island, you know. And, uh, you know, they get hoarded off per episode, you know. My, me and my son watch it all the time. I'm like, uh, <laughs> this is hilarious because I play Duncan and Scott plays Owen. She goes, are you serious? Four down and I'm get my son out here and I tell him about this. And, and so the, there's a horrible Jamaican accent, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> so I thought it was already good. Let's up for uh, two dozen in his Jamaican so accent. Anyway, so, anyway, so, so, so here's Owen and like Scott and myself standing with this woman, and she's just in awe. It's like one of her favorite shows. It was just such an incredible moment. You know, yeah. I mean, that was one that definitely really stuck with me. Her son, her son was kind of like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was. She was flipping out. Yeah, she was flipping out. Yeah, yeah, very uh, sort of in the moment kind of situation. Uh, just a uh, graveyard of roles. Okay. Sorry, that's fine. Um, you pretty much every part I've auditioned for, I really wanted and didn't get. Um, that's basically how it works. I, I'm not very good at auditions in general. So I always go out, walk out of there. They're like, oh, thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. So, um, there, there, there have been a few occasions where I thought, oh, I so nailed that one. Oh, oh. Okay, they're gonna call. Okay, now they're gonna call. They're gonna call. They're gonna... Week goes by. Yeah, you know, it takes time to make up their minds. They're gonna call. They're gonna call. And then I turn the TV on. It's like it's on TV. They didn't call. <laughs> yeah, I hate I hate seeing a show on TV. It's something I went out for that I was thought I was gonna get, and it ends up being Scott McCord or Brian Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got it. We got to move it along. But yeah, exactly. I think it's happened to every single yeah. one of us. Lots. Lots. Don't let that stop you. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got to make this one fast because we got to wrap it up. But it's the squirrel. I know. I was just wondering why there's a lack of squirrels in the show. <laughs> squirrel. Scary squirrel premieres April first on YTV. Right. April first on YTV. It's all Scary squirrel squirrels. all the time. Well, what's the other shows? Squirrel. I played a chipmunk. Does that count? Well, that's no, yeah, she did yoga, that's kind of counts, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I was a squirrel for seven episodes. <laughs> <laughs> no tapes, no tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, August, hurry up, bro, we gotta go. Do you think uh, Gwen will ever choose Cody? <laughs> <laughs> wow! You know, if Gwen um, is allowed back on the show, <laughs> and maybe she will choose Cody if she's given the chance. Absolutely, I, I, Gwen loves Cody secretly, so why not? But that would spoil it if I said yes or no. Um, I have a question for um, the whole cast. Um, um, do you have any pre-show rituals? Hey, um, like, that's a great question. Pre-show rituals. Pre -show yeah. rituals. Um, mine is just trying to find a good parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> I'm sorry. Same socks. <laughs> No. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Any pre-show rituals, anyway? I actually do, yeah. I, I have yeah, these, uh, these herbal cough drops that I use before every show. All of us? It just warms up my voice and just us? feels good. Herbon. Oh, Herbon. Yeah. Herbon. They're really good, and they just really help your voice and loosen it up and, and uh, you know, drink lots of water as well before the show. And do this. Yeah. Love that. Face, <laughs> voice, me, 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 me. Oh. <laughs> They're a lot, they're a lot. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, guys, yoga poses. You really don't want to hear them, but there are a lot of them. Guys, we gotta wrap it up because there's some oh, no, angry no, dudes no, with no, left. No, 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 I know, but I'm getting the sack. You know what? You know what? If you want to ask us questions, come back to our booth. Yeah, we can yeah, do yeah. it like intimate and interactive. It's just guys with lightsabers want their room. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? Yeah. Uh, well, listen, hey guys. Uh, on behalf of uh, the creators, directors of Psychic, Total Drama, uh, and the voice actors, thanks for being the best fans of the world. Hello, I'm Camila Cartoonist News, and I'm with the voice of you.